this code sample, if we check the app.xaml file, we can find the definition for a resource, a resource of the URI mapper type. And this resource, its uh, name is application URI mapper. It actually sets the possible uh, navigation paths for each one of them. It sets a name and specifies the exact URI. This way, when we use this resource, and here you can see how can we use it, we just need to add into the frame element the URI mapper attribute assigned with uh, this value that actually refer the application URI mapper resource. This is the name of the resource that was created um, here within the app.xaml file. So we do the connection between the frame and the um, mapper by placing the URI mapper attribute assigned with uh, this uh, value. In addition, we can uh, refer those navigation URIs that were defined in that uh, resource. The, the names are the third, the second, the first. So we refer these URIs here when we create these hyperlink button elements. So when we execute this code, as you can see, it works as expected.